Hello everyone, so we're going to look at Newton's third law. What Newton's third law tells us, for example, is if you look at this box that is on a table, the box is obviously exerting a force on on the table. Because think about it, gravity is busy pulling the box down, and so that box is exerting a force on the table. And at the same time, the table is exerting a force on the box. That's the normal force. Guys, please note, however, that this first one that I've just labeled, there is a force of the box on the table. That is not gravity, okay? We've never looked at something like that before. The reason is, normally when we do a free body diagram, we're looking at all the forces that act on the table. Now, that's usually gravity, and then there's the normal force. Now, this force of gravity is the force of the Earth on the box, and this here is the force of, is the normal force on the box. But now, in Newton's third law, we're also looking at the table, okay? So don't think of that as gravity. If I had to draw a table, then what we're talking about there is the force due to the box itself. It's not gravity. So what Newton, with Newton's third law, you want to be able to have two sentences where the words can be switched like that. So for example, gravity and normal force do not work. Because if you look here, normal force is the force of the table on the box then gravity is the force of Earth on the box. And so the words have not been switched. If the words can be switched, then we can look at Newton's third law. And Newton's third law says the following. If object A, such as a box, exerts a force on object B, such as a table, then object B, which is the table, immediately exerts a force on object A, which is a box. The force is the same, so it has the same magnitude, but the direction is opposite. So the box is exerting a force on the table, and the table is exerting a force on the box. If you had to look at the force, they would be the same. It would be 5 newtons, for example, and 5 newtons. So Newton's third law is about objects that are acting on each other. The force is the same, but the direction is opposite. So let's say we have a car that is busy driving, and it collides with a little fly. Okay, so let's say there's a fly and that fly collides with the windshield of the car. Then we have two forces present. You would have a force of the fly on the windscreen. So if I had to draw the windscreen, that windscreen is going to feel a force from the fly. But then if you have to draw the fly, then it will feel a force due to the windscreen. Now, can the words be switched? Well, here we've got fly and windscreen, and here we've got windscreen and fly. And so, yes, this is a Newton third law pair. So it tells us that the force is the same on both objects, but the direction is opposite. Okay, but then, Kevin, why does the fly get completely destroyed and the car barely feels a thing? It's due to the mass. The mass of the car is a lot larger, and the fly is obviously a lot lighter, and so the fly will undergo a much larger acceleration, and that's what causes the damage. So if we had to look at this system over here, let's draw a free body diagram on the horse. So obviously the horse has its own applied force. There's a normal force, which is keeping the horse up. Then there's the force of gravity acting on the horse. Then there's a backwards force. Let's say there's no friction by the um, by the hooves, but let's say there's a tension force, or let's say there's the, I'm going to call it FC for the cart. Then I'm going to do a free body diagram on the cart, and so that's going to have gravity. That's also going to have some friction at the wheels. Then there's going to be a tension force, which is due to the horse over there, and then there's a normal force that is keeping the horse that is keeping the cart upwards. And let's just assume that this person doesn't exist. Okay, so you get out of here. Now we need to try identify a Newton third law pair. Now what many people say is they'll say, oh, okay, well these two are a third law pair. Well, let's look at that carefully. This is the applied force of the horse, and this one is the force of the cart on the horse. So guys, those are not a Newton third law pair. Look at this. This is the force, applied force of horse, and this is force of cart on horse. There's no similarities there at all. The next one people say is the normal force and the force of gravity. Well, the normal force is the following. Normal force is the force of the surface, so it's the ground that is exerted on the horse. Gravity is force of gravity on the horse. So both of those are acting on the horse. With a Newton's third law pair, it has to be two different objects 
exerting forces on each other, and I'll show you what I mean by that now. If we look at the cart, then that, or in fact it would be better to call it FT, because it's the force of tension in this pulling piece on the, on the horse. And I called it FT1, let's call it FT1, and then this one is FT2. Now let's look at what FT2 is. That is the force of the horse on the cart. Now we have Newton's third law, cart on horse and horse on cart. If you can switch them like that, then it's a Newton's third law. And remember what Newton's third law says? If an object A, such as a horse, let's say that's the horse, exerts a force on object B, which is the cart, then object B, which is the cart, immediately exerts a force on object A, which is the horse. In the say uh, the force is the same, but the direction is opposite. So if the horse is exerting 10 newtons on the cart, then the cart is exerting 10 newtons on the horse. So what that means is that if this horse decides that it really wants to start speeding up, then it's going to increase the force that it exerts on the horse on the cart. But then at the same time, the cart's force is going to become larger as well. So it's almost like imagine you've got a bag. A heavy heavy bag like a 50 kg cement bag if you are pulling that along the floor if you pull it very slowly then that means that your force applied is relatively low if you decide that you want to get the job done faster then you start running and so you're exerting a larger force on the bag but then that bag is obviously going to exert a larger force on you because the two forces according to Newton's third law are always going to be balanced. So if you punch a wall, yes your hand's going to hurt, but you've also caused the same force on the wall. It's just that the wall is a lot stronger. It doesn't mean it exerts a larger force on you. It's just that it's stronger and it's heavier. So it's like the fly hitting the windscreen of a car. And so Newton's third law is not that important for this year, but you do need to know it. They can test you on it, and they usually ask it towards the end of the question. They'll, they'll say, if the force of the horse on the cart is 50 newtons, then determine the force of the cart on the horse, or something along those lines. But that's all for this lesson, guys. Thanks for watching.